Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new video of Music with Nick. Today we got a marathon by BMAC and I'm very excited because I've been, you know, going through this band slowly um, with requests and um, I've gotten some marathon requests from Greybeard and other people and... Uh, it's a great band. We're talking about, of course, as you can see in the title, Grand Funk Railroad. And we're going to do four tracks today um, that uh, BMAC chose for this marathon. And I'm super excited to do them, you know. So um, let's get into it again. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I do appreciate it. Thank you for clicking on the video, liking the video, maybe subscribing, all that good stuff that you do on YouTube. And um, I, I really, really thank you. Um, so yeah, let's get into the list that we're going to do. Um, thank you again, BMAC, for sending me a little um, list. And you also sent me the the playlist already for Spotify. So I basically just imported it to my Spotify and we can go, you know. It's awesome. Thank you so much, BMAC, for doing this. It makes a lot of... Um, it makes just everything so much easier, you know. And I have to write tracks and I, you know... Really, really cool. Thank you. I appreciate it so, so much. So here we go. This is, uh, it says, um, um, okay, it says some more Grand Funk Railroad. And there's not a lot of, you know, information, but that's okay. BMAC knows that I, you know, I can go in without knowing anything. The good thing is I already know about the band, you know, and I know about the singer and uh, everyone. So uh, not everyone, but, you know. So we're going to start it off with um, uh, fr so the um, Survival Album 1971. And this is I Can Hear Him in the Morning. Then we're going to go to the second track, which is from the Phoenix Album 1972, which is called Someone. And then we're going to jump to the um, E Plur Pluribus Funk Album from 1971. Uh, Pluribus, Pluribus Funk, and this is two songs, and they're gonna basically bleed into each other. Uh, Upsetter and I Come Tumbling, and um, they kind of like fade into each other. So, thank you so much, BMAC. He says, Enjoy, and of course, I will. I will. Thank you so much. Um, I've been doing some really awesome marathons lately, also with Alexia, and it's such a such a oh i love doing marathons with her as you can see our last one you know rush and pink floyd pink floyd that you'd never heard and uh, some queen it was just amazing so i about the the rush song i did i had heard it but on the ingway malmstein um cover so because i got that back in my early guitar days and that's why i know i i knew that song from him so I never knew it was Rush. So that was kind of weird. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's why I was like, I've heard that before, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah. Okay. So let's go. And uh, everybody, thank you. Enjoy. And uh, leave a comment, whatever you like. Does, does Like the video. Dislike the video. Whatever you want to do. So this one is a longer one. You know, we're going to start with a longer song. Seven minutes and 16 seconds. Here we go from Survival. I can feel him in the morning. Let's go. He kind of started all the plants growing and he started people. Well, I guess he's kind of big and fat. He can see us wherever we do. Whatever we do, he has such powerful eyes. He doesn't have millions and thousands, uh, billions. And he can still see us when we're bad. He could be sitting on the table right now, but you can't see him. He can't be everywhere once doing everything for everybody. <laughs> everybody can't get what they want. Well, his job is to make us good and make us happy and make us parents good. Good is the right things as bad as the wrong things. When I'm good, my mother never yells at me. When I'm bad, she does. Good means to obey your mother and father, do what the teacher says, the thing's right. I feel miserable when I'm when I'm bad. I feel miserable inside, but on the outside, I just feel like I'm. I feel now. I think that um, 
Um, there are more people that are bad than there are good. And um, if you're good, you'll live forever. And if you're bad, you'll die when you die. And if you're bad, you'll die when you die. And if you're bad, you'll die when you die. And if you're bad, you'll die when you die. You'll die when you die. Wow. What a trip. I met. Take me down to the water. Let me feel the ground over me. Let me feel the pain and the coldness. The loneliness that there must be. Oh, can't you see their dreams as they go drifting by? Oh, can't you see their faces and their tear-soaked eyes? that I'm like okay he has to play a fill here you know like like not even like a fill just like some kind of like you know something and it's like usually it happens you know because it's like it, it's so like it has to you know and it does that's like I, I love that when you get that weird kind of like sense to when you predict music and even with classical music it's like what would fit here and it's just like your mind working at a thousand miles per hour and you're just like yeah this this scale makes a lot of sense here or you know um the muse is gonna stop or it's gonna get faster or slower or it's like i think everyone has that little you know um 
sense, you know? It's just like, I don't know, it's there. Uh, what a beautiful, first of all, what a beautiful intro with all the um, the kids, you know, talking about, you know, being good or bad and behaving. And I love that, you know, <laughs> 1971. Obviously, different times, you know, a lot more respect between, you know, a student and a teacher. It's like, yeah, you're going to listen to your parents and you're going to listen to what the teacher says. Because also, now, this is also a, uh, I don't want to make this too long because we're in the middle of a song. But today's, there's a lot of bad teachers, you know, and uh, unfortunately, uh, it just that you never really know what you're going to get but there's some really amazing teachers you know and then they uh it's kind of like not like it used to be i mean i'm sure i had some horrible teachers but they were good teachers but they were just had a way of teaching that was not going through or it was just too tough or too maybe i mean every teacher has a different type of personality i guess so you're lucky when you get really a good teacher and who's also very nice, you know. But uh, the problem with today is, like, teachers don't get the respect they deserve, I think, you know. Not everywhere, but in a lot of cases, you know. Back in the day, that wouldn't fly, you know. If you disrespected your teachers, you were out. You were out of the school. And today, you can kind of, like, well, you, who are you? You're just a teacher. You shut up, you know, teach my kids and... And pretty much just the respect is gone, you know. That's why I just loved what they were saying there. Okay, let's go back. I'm loving the bass. I'm loving the drums. This voice is so beautiful. Um, I remember when I was listening to Closer to Home. I'm your captain. Just beautiful band. Just oh, great. Great American band. I love them. Uh, very, very cool. Thank you, BMAC, for... And BMAC... You know, he's a musician as well. So uh, I know, you know, it's just I know, he, he knows what I like, you know. So thank you. Hey, let's let's keep going. Awesome. And uh, if you want, you can check it out on, you know, Spotify, the song, and it has all the, I didn't know, you know, I just looked it up and it has all the kids, like child one, child two, all their, what they were saying at the beginning. Really cool. Um, great track. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's see. So this is from Survival. Is this? Hmm. Give me a second. 
Okay, on the, the sixth song. Okay, I was just wondering, you know, what they opened up with. <clears throat> All right, so now from Phoenix, one year later, um, this is called Someone. Here we go. Awesome. Um, I have to take a call real quick, um, but I loved the uh, I loved how it kind of like gradually, you know, got. I don't. I, I mean, it got really heavy, but I love how they kind of like. Yeah, the, it started super super soft, and then I could just feel it. And then I was like, "Wow, this sounds like literally like other bands." And then. I looked up, you know, bands like, you know, um, Grand Funk Railroad, and there was just like literally 
the bands that I was thinking of, you know, the Guess Who, Edgar Winner, uh, Humble Pie, James Gang, um, all these, you know, Molly Hatchet. We just like reacted to that for Graveyard as well. Blood, Sweat and Tears. Well, I, I don't know. That's maybe a little bit too. Ten years after Ted N Nugent, Bad Company, Steppenwolf, Iron Butterfly, Mountain. That's the one that I would say yes. You know, they had that heaviness. Um, I love that keyboard, you know. Um, I love the combination between very, like, acoustic guitars, the keyboards, the bass, and the drums. And then there is some distortion, you know, now and then. But it's not in every song. So it's very unpredictable. Very, very cool. Um, and the lyrics are very sweet. You know, I had them pulled up. So, um not sweet. I mean, I understand, you know, <laughs> the um, the breakup and everything, but um, very cool song. Very, very cool. Give me just one moment. I'll be right back. Okay. All righty then. Oh my God. <laughs> the sun. No, I'm just kidding. It's the screen. Um, uh, That was Alexia. So um, she says hello to everyone and thank you for being here, of course. And uh, yeah, everything's fine. Um. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue with Grand Funk Railroad. This is going to be Upsetter and I come tumbling. I thought, did I say rumbling? Tumbling, uh, I, I think I said it correctly. So this one, I'm going to maybe interrupt before the whole, you know, bleeding together. And, uh, but let's see how it goes. But so far, so good. Um, I'm loving this band. Let's go. Let's let's keep going. This is from 71 again. So it looks like they did um they recorded two albums in that year. So here we go. Cry baby.
cool. I, the sound, I love his sound. And uh, most of these uh, amps and during that time were like tube, you know, uh, tube amps. Um, and I used to have a pedal, a Digitech, very old. Um, I think that one, when did I buy it? That was one of my first pedals. Um, and I was lucky enough it had like these, um, uh, yeah, like a tube in there. Uh, it looked like a, you know, like almost like a, like a light bulb, you know? Um, and, uh, it took me a lot of years to be able to, you know, to know what the hell was actually, you know, what the volume meant and the tone and the, and just to, to find out what pickups are actually for, you know? Um, because it's really like, you don't really have to have a pedal, you know, to sound great, you know, like Van Halen, like I just saw a video of him and I honestly thought that he used, you know, pedals. Um, but I, he said, I've never used a pedal in my life straight into the amp and, uh, with the volume knob and with the tone knob and just like using your pickups, you know, and just also having a certain setting on your amp, you can pretty much sound, you know, like Van Halen or like this guy, you know, I think the only way, the only, the, what he does like to get this distortion is he cranks up the volume and then he goes down and then he gets more, you know, not as such, such a saturated or distorted sound. That is awesome. It's very easy. Of course, you have a pedal like the one that I have. I actually have like three pedals that are connected at all times, but sometimes I just bypass, you know, I don't use them at all. I, I love that pure sound of the guitar into the, into the amp or here into, you know, the, what I have as a recording studio, you know, it goes back into, it goes directly into the studio, which you can mess with in all sorts of ways and goes into the monitors that I have right here. You can't see them, but yeah, that's when I listen to music here. When I play here, it sounds amazing because it's like stereo. And I also play a lot with headphones, you know, not to bother anyone. And I just did that today and I recorded some really good stuff, but, um, it's mostly like, like fusion jazz and stuff like that. So it's weird. <laughs> and there's a lot of, there's a lot of room to mess up, especially when you're improvising over scales that you never heard. And that's what I love doing the most. Um, just put on a backing track that I've never heard. Like today was Pat Metheny backing track in the style of not a real Pat Metheny. But so it's all over the, and it's so cool to kind of like to slide into the notes when the, there's a chord change and you slide into the right note and then you have like this outside playing going on, you know? Um, and I, I try to like use like a lot of chromaticism and I just fill in the kind of like the gaps, you know, um, instead of paying, playing the pentatonic scale. Um, but yeah. Such a great band. I just wanted to talk about gear a little bit. I never do that, but uh, I guess it's very boring for people that don't play guitar. <laughs> but if you ever want to play guitar, it's never too late, you know, and it's just cool to know that you don't need this arsenal of stuff. Like I see videos that people that buy like 80 pedals, like it's really not necessary, you know. All right, let's keep going.
start showing and let's start growing with love. There's nothing to fear. song the bass player is insane i love how like the guitar player has all this like you know capability you know to play like this crazy amazing guitar and he you know he takes it very easy and it's just like when when the moment is right he shows you know those those um those skills i loved it this song had a little bit of everything, great drumming, falsettos, you know, guitar solos. The bass was always there. What a great song. And uh, yeah, even the one before, you know, I really enjoyed it. This whole band is just like awesome. It's a very, very cool. Like I, I, I can't wait to do more and uh, dive, you know, even deeper, you know, because I know you know the famous ones you know um that's what we've done i mean these ones i don't know how popular these songs are but um but we we started with you know like the the commercial stuff and now i'm like getting into the heavy stuff i guess you know really really cool 
um b mac thank you so so much you know for giving me the chance to to listen to this you know and uh to make a video for you guys and um uh let me see if i'll add something at the end i'm gonna try and come up with something but i don't know if it's gonna make it into the final cut but thank you so so much for being here um let me know what you think what do you know about this band um have you seen them live you know because i've not really done a lot of uh you know grand funk railroad i mean yes but i mean in reality i've done like i think one marathon uh for graybeard and then some other you know little bits and pieces but never really a marathon of only them so let me know what you think and uh, what do you think about this band and uh yeah put it in the comments please like the video um we are going through you know like we are learning from other youtubers you know it's very important for you to like the video if you really like the if there's something of value in there give it a like at least um or just like it i mean that's still engagement it, it will push the video further the more like it has the more likes the video has the further people will get a recommendation of it and then the more so basically a video that doesn't get watched or doesn't get likes kind of like dies a slow agonizing death you know so we don't want that we want all the videos to be watched you know and i love when people comment on the old videos on the videos that we used to do with two years ago you know almost three years ago alexia and i you know when we didn't we didn't know anything <laughs> so i love those and they still are like you guys <laughs> Like, they're still explaining us, you know, that, you know, Ian Anderson and, uh, I'm sorry, John Anderson and Chris Squire are harmonizing. It's not just John. Stuff like that. And you just have to take it, you know, because you recorded something where you were uninformed, you know. And it's for people that watch it the first time, they're like, oh, my God, these people don't know anything. So I understand. So, um, again, thank you so, so much for this. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. See you all in the next one.